I'm gonna come. Beetlejuice. It's show dead. Hello, you beautiful tubers. How are you doing? Today is a impromptu, crazy day. Um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of news been happening for true crime uh, uh, stuff, and this all happened with new information from Adventures with Purpose. Uh, their videos start. They brought it out Friday. Um, by the way, I hope everybody had a good Saturday. It was big college football day. Uh, I know a lot of us are recovering from that, um, so that's good. But anyway, 3D life is in the way of 2D life, which is awesome. It needs to be in the way. Um, actually, it should be the opposite. You need to be getting past your 2D to get to your 3D. Hello, Texas. Jen, welcome to the chat. Uh, I want to jump in. There are two, I have three things I want to talk about. I want to talk about, uh, Eliza Fletcher, a woman in Memphis. She's a billionaire heiress and she was kidnapped, uh, abducted, whatever the, the cool words are to say for the tubes. Um, on Friday morning, I believe. Uh, or that Saturday morning. Saturday morning, she was. She's a school teacher and mother of two. And all she was doing was jogging in the middle of the street. I mean, <laughs> I think she was on a sidewalk, but, you know, jogging down the road. Uh, then also, there is... Oh, my brown dog just came busting through. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? He says, Daddy, I hear you talking. We're going to get in on this. So you look like Scooby-Doo. We need you in the mystery machine. Uh, after, uh, but then also the Kylie Rodney case. Of course, uh, with the invention of, of the tubes, there can be no, uh, no case that is settled. There's always something else. Hey, Melanie, how are you doing? Alan Walsh, how are you, sir? Um... Yes, it is a horrible story, Melanie. And uh, uh, the Eliza Fletcher is uh, one that uh, I take a little bit more heart to because I'm from Memphis. And so it's when that's how he got on my radar. And, of course, the, the horrible story. I'm going to share that in a second. I want to tell you what I'm going to talk about with Kylie uh, Rodney. So that was uh, Friday the Adventures with Purpose released the their video of when they went underwater. And by the way, if you haven't seen the Adventures with Purpose video, Rally, what's up, bud? You need to check it out. It is an amazingly done, uh, like, cinematic type video. It's the, the editing is, it's not a normal, like, a YouTube type edit. This is very, very, very impressive. Uh, a lot of people that are, the, you know, you see stuff and you want to get on the tubes. I, like, it used to be that YouTube was a lot of video editors and stuff, and they did this type of uh, work. It's just amazing to see how, how well theirs was. It was just really great put together in just a couple of days. Um, and then also, but they brought in Mystery. And that mystery is they. There's a tow truck driver. Uh, he has a um, uh, contract with AAA of Northern Nevada, uh, Reno area, and he says that he was called out to the lake where Kylie Rodney was later found, and it says that he was called there, and a girl matching Kylie's description uh, couldn't get her car started. And we'll talk about that here in a second. He thinks he saw he saw Kylie on eleven hours after her cell phone died. Um, and then the next uh, one is, of course, Ryan Upchurch, our our favorite country rap uh, mystery solving artist. He has put out he put out a video last night, which uh, has a lot of 
there's I don't know I don't know how that that one's broken down. It's funny you always have two sides of, of the the coin, right? And you see that a lot with the tubes. Now, uh, with me, I try to look at both sides and just come to a re reasonable conclusion. So I know I don't get the drama over here, and I'm sorry if, if that's what you're looking for. But it's this, this is fun, and we'll have a a good. I don't know, clean chat about it, um, if you can do, if there is such a thing, right? Um, let me see here, let's do the first one here, I've got, I want to do Eliza Fletcher first, she is, um, let me see here, let me share my screen, uh, I actually have all this, I'm pretty organized today. Except for Kylie. Kylie is, and if you ever, if you pick up anything in my background, I also am watching uh, a video right now about uh, Kylie Rodney and what is being said on, on the crime tubes. And I want to address several things that they've brought up. Uh, there's, it's amazing how some people take things, they take feelings for facts, and they don't, they express things. They're like, oh, that's not what would happen, and they're they're explained away simply. Uh, but anyway, so you guys can, you guys see this, right? All right, good. Let's get my little guy down there, make it a little bit larger. Um, okay, Eliza Fletcher, who, this is, back here is a, a, in the portrait, that's a picture of her. This is her husband right here. Uh, she was taken, let's see here, um, there's been an arrest made. Uh, is this the timeline? Okay, no, there's an affidavit done. So the police have arrested somebody. What happened here, there's a lot of speculation and stuff. Let me see if I can find my Twitter, too. This was a... Um, the the Twitter was really amazing on some of this stuff. So let's see if I can go back. Hang on. No, it's not what I want. What happened to that um, Twitter account? Don't tell me that. Nope, here it is. Okay. Oh, good. So I'm going to do this. Let me open up over here. So we can do Twitter next on this. Um, no, it's not him. Okay. Sorry, guys. I know. I'm, I'm never professional. All right. Let's see. He may actually have this. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm going to go back to that. All right, so we're going to do like a timeline on Eliza Fletcher. Um, excuse me. <coughs> there's no there's no sneeze button. Yeah, when I'm looking at stuff, there's no sneeze button for me to hit real quick. So, uh, I apologize. So Eliza Fletcher, we have an arrest made. But it's weird. So Eliza was uh, jogging at 4 a.m., okay, she didn't come home. At 7.30, the police got involved. They immediately obtained, they were able to obtain video, which is amazing to me because not long ago, it seems like, um, checking convictions, what's up, how are you doing? I'm so happy to see you here. Um, it's a, oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Golly, it came out of nowhere. Um, so, the, um, uh, police video that they got it was like the intersection video and she was running at Eliza was running at the University of Memphis and the campus video was out like almost immediately uh, the Memphis Police Department got calls from uh, the Fletcher family and from the University of Memphis Police around the same time which I don't really understand you know if you ask me why I don't know, but hopefully we find all this stuff out. Uh, I think obviously is like the Memf they must have seen something on a camera that didn't come back that they didn't look good, right? Supposedly there's video of her actual abduction. I've not seen that video. That hasn't been released, but this is uh, from the affidavit. There was a they had all. See here. How do I want to? 
trying to streamline all this. Let me let me take this down. I'm gonna read this about this guy. Actually, hold on. Let me read some here, and then I'll go back because there's a, a Twitter timeline that has pictures. Okay. So Eliza or Fletcher uh, uh, was last seen around 4:20 a.m. Friday, September 2nd, jogging near the intersection of Central Avenue and Zach H. Curlin Street. Central Avenue. I actually have a T-shirt from a barbecue restaurant. Uh, on Central. A GMC terrain was seen 24 minutes before the abduction surveillance footage. The surveillance camera captured a man violently and quickly approaching Fletcher before forcing her into the passenger side of a GMC terrain with passenger side taillight damage. A male exited the black GMC terrain, then aggressively towards the, ran aggressively towards the victim then forced the victim into the passenger side of the vehicle, the affidavit read. I'm trying to find the affidavit. If anybody in the chat can, knows where that is, uh, please let me know. Um, I would love to read it. So anyway, uh, during the abduction, there appears to be a struggle. Now, I read that it was a... Uh, well, he aggressively ran towards the, the victim. I heard it was a violent uh, abduction. Investigators found a pair of slides at the scene. Uh, police say DNA from the footwear. I had no idea you get DNA from the footwear. That's new to me. Um, anyway, uh, matched Abston, the, and that's the person they have arrested, uh, based on a sample taken after he was previously convicted of a crime. Other surveillance videos showed Abston wearing similar slides d days earlier. I mean, that's a lot of surveillance video that Memphis police were able to go over in a very short amount of time. I mean, this is all within probably uh, 12 hours here. Um, right now, let me go over here. I'm going to switch up. Hey, True Crime with Sunshine, how are you doing? Have you seen the uh, Eliza Fletcher case? Um, it, oh, Tracy, what's up? How are you doing? Uh, let's see here. Tracy, I know Emily. You changed your name on me. All right, let me show. Let me see. Where am I doing this here? Uh, that I believe is what keeping this case moving along. Fact. Oh, DNA, DNA. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Convictions. I missed you saying that. Um. Okay. No, hang on a second here. Oh. Welcome to the stream, Sully. How are you doing, Sully? Hi. How are you? I am doing fine. Talking about uh, Liza Fletcher um, and uh, uh, I may, Kylie. I, I, what? I came in a little bit late, but didn't isn't someone charged? Yes. Yeah, uh, and that's what I'm getting to right now. I'm trying to find the. Um, uh, let me share this. Um, Hang on here. Where's the... What did I do with the... Oh, there it is. Um, so, those of you that don't know, this kind of started last night. Uh, Sully and Texas Jen and I were able to... Uh, uh, we were talking about this uh, case last night. And that's what... Uh, it, it's, everybody was like, oh, you need to do a live stream on this. Because I was going to just do a, a single video. But it... it then now here it is the live stream <laughs> and I'm trying to catch up with everything because a lot of stuff has happened since uh, last night um, let's see here real quick let me do one more thing okay what I'm going to show here is is on uh, this is that Twitter account and this is a guy I think he lives in Memphis he has uh, a lot of uh, coverage on this so this is the car in question that they're looking for. And I wish I could make that larger. Uh, can you guys see that? Yeah, okay. So that's what they were looking for, right? And I don't know when this happened, but there was a, a wreck with this car and a ATF vehicle is what was reported. Let's see here. He doesn't have it. Neighbors reported that an ATF vehicle... Uh, ran to him. Now, there's other talk about it being a um, uh, FBI. 
I don't know. But this is the car in the back. They, they towed it off and they arrested the suspect. Now, today we do know that he ran from the police. Um, and this is the, the press conference. That's the husband picking his nose there. Um, oh, yeah. So this is like the, the scene from where the abduction was located. Uh, this is where they went and got the guy's car, I believe. That's really a public place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's loud. Can you guys still see this? Okay. I'm used to Discord where you can't see anything. I love it. They're not going to go outside of their house <laughs> to video that. Hey, Jen. Jen is here. Oh, is she? Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh, she's over in the chat. Uh-huh. Hey, Kristen, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I have missed you. We were talking about you last night. Um, so hey, anyway, yeah, yeah. This is that. This is the scene from Checking the convictions. Uh, uh, hey, Emily. The whole deal. Now, hang on a second here. Let me. While I'm thinking about it, let me do this. Um, where is? I know somewhere here. Hang on a second. I'm looking for something. You can't tell, can you? Um. All right, there you go. Uh. Yeah. So, uh, convictions. I sent you a message on Discord. So this guy, he he gets this footage. So there was. All of a sudden, there's a lot of heavy police uh, presence. Let's see here. I've got the... He's got a map here. Okay. So, like, right here, where this pin is, is where uh, Fletcher lives. This McDonald's up here is where all this police presence was. So, it's a 13-minute drive. It's not that far of a run or anything else like that. I don't know where the intersection is, and I should have done a map for that. I apologize. But um, that is where... We are right here, and you see, like, right here is a dumpster, and you, all this is police presence around there. And this was what the uh, uh, Twitter thing said investigation scene on Quince and Perkins. A McDonald's employee told us clothes were found in a dumpster and matched to what Liza was wearing. So, that and I read elsewhere, it was they supposedly found a pink sports bra and blue jogging shorts. But there's no Fletcher. Uh, this is another picture of that area. You can see right here's the McDonald's sign. You know, wait for your coffee here uh, thing. Um, let's go up here. Yeah, this is kind of like a, this is a better uh, photo montage. It doesn't blow up any bigger. Oh, there you go. So you can see right here the dumpster in the bottom right. Uh, this is everything we kind of just looked at, though. Uh, where did all right? We'll show that this in a second. Let me get back over here. Well, no, I guess not. So, okay, you no, know, this is still so the McDonald's that we're talking about. There is a this is a video from it. Is that the show on here? Okay, good. Uh, the video from this. So, real quick, this is the McDonald's right here where the, the mouse cursor is. You see, here's the golden arches. Right here's your drive-through line. See how that goes around? Now the police presence is all over here, right? So usually the McDonald's dumpster would be back here. So I don't know what this. I guess that might be attached to this business next door, or I don't know where that that dumpster is in correlation to this. But this is the video. This guy did a uh, drone footage of last night. And you can see, I mean, they had a complete, I mean, it's heavy police presence, right? Yes. A couple of these vans are, uh, uh, you know, crime investigation vans. And then we're going to go up, and then you have this guy. So apparently, oops, police used DNA from the scene to identify Cleotha Abston as a suspect in the abduction. Being reported, his brother told officers he's a, he acting strange. 
Uh, he was seen washing his clothes in the sink and cleaning the interior of his GMC terrain. And that is the suspect. Right there. Now, let me go back over to StreamYard. Let's see what's it. The dumpster's in the lower right thing. Okay. <laughs> I like it. That's a long line. Um, yeah, Chris, and this is really, it, it's some amazing stuff here. So then we go to, let me stop sharing this. And let's go back to the commercial appeal. Um, what we know from the affidavit. Because I think what, what, I, what I'm trying to do is, is show you guys all the imagery that I've seen that leads up to like this affidavit, okay? So you got uh, where she was taken, the GMC truck, you know, the show you what that looks like. Uh, the guy ran aggressively towards her. There's DNA. Her from... clothes were all in tight. I mean, they weren't, um, they weren't torn or bloody or anything like that. Oh, did you find that out? I, well, I, that's what I'm asking. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm still trying to find the latest on it. All I know is is that, uh, well, I saw Good Morning America today had a video of it. And they said, it was, funny, it was, it was on my YouTube stream, right? And Good Morning America it had everything that, I'm, that we had talked about last night, remember? And then the only thing they added to it was that another suspect has been arrested. But they didn't say anything about that suspect. So there's a second person arrested, at, according to Good Morning America, this morning. I haven't seen an article about that. So that's what I'm trying to find right now. Uh, bring us all up to date. They still don't know where Fletcher is. You know, I mean, a 130-pound, 5'6 woman in 12 hours. I can't imagine that's an easy body to dispose of. Um... I don't know. What do you think, Sully? I, I, I think there would be some kind of sign if it was... I think there would have already been a sign on the on the clothing or something. Or maybe she's just missing, like they're trying to get that information now. Yeah. But it, I don't know. I don't know. It's It could go all, all kinds of different ways, I know. But it would be interesting to... Um, to understand the dynamics of that family. Oh yeah, yeah. So convictions, boy, she is on this, man. That's that's why I said. That's why I told her check her Discord. Um, uh, oh yes, thank you, Jen. Forgot about that. We still don't know about that. I'll, I'll go back and uh, go f forward. Um, yeah. Jen I'm, needs to check her Discord too. Listerin, it. Oh, she has. She's okay, got. Uh, okay. She's okay. having a party. Um. <laughs> So, uh, oh, Listerin, gosh. yeah, um, that's the unfortunate thing. And here, instead of talking about that, because, you know, here's what's funny. YouTube really doesn't want you saying stuff about uh, end of life anymore. <laughs> and th it was Levin said this, uh, our friend Levelheaded. Uh, he said, you know, we are interested in this and we're talking about stuff. So you can com you can prevent this from ever happening again. And, you know, I, I'm tired of, of politicians coming forward and saying, you know, they have like some sort of answer. The answer is us. You know, this is like a, this is like a crowdsourcing the answer by discussing this stuff and seeing what you could do in that situation or, you know, how you can tell other people uh, how, you know, to be aware and stuff. Last night I was talking, if you guys checked out the live stream Friday night with Melissa Jane. Here she is. She lives in Sydney, Australia. I was talking to her last night. She runs similar patterns to the way that uh, uh, Liza Fletcher runs. She runs like six, five, six miles in the morning around like 4.30 a.m. And so we started talking about that. And it's just, it's, this is, it, it's common. And it's, so that's why we're here talking about it. You know, we want to figure out. What happened? You want to know the, the mind of, of the of the monsters that do this, and then also how to protect yourself in the future. Um, let's see here. 
Oh yeah, okay, here we go. See, crafting him. <laughs> oh, I overheard this morning, Good Morning America, and they haven't found her. I was going to message you this case, but you're on it. Thank you Expert. so much. There's yes. a really interesting thing I just put in the show prep. Okay. It's, um, it's just kind of a daily show timeline or like, yeah, a condensed version. It's Oh, awesome. Yes. Thank you. I click that and we'll bring this up next. Um, this was just released. Yeah. Everything. This is still a breaking story right now, guys. Hang on a second. Let me, uh, let me mute this real quick. I have a, a visitor here. Hang on. The charge. Okay, sorry, guys. Oh no, no, I was just, I was just gonna say the charge well, is aggressively rushing her. Yeah, that's what. I, that's the next thing here. So I need to get back on this. So I just, have, just found out something, and this is gonna be. Uh, Rabbit's gonna text this, and I'm gonna put this uh, picture up because she's like, I don't know how to forward this. I think she found it on uh, Facebook. Wow. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, finish on the commercial appeal. Uh, a male exited the black GMC train, ran aggressively towards the victim, and then forced the victim, uh, Fletcher, um, and to... Oh, awesome. Oh, there we go. Hang on here. Wait, I don't have it. I don't have it. I kind of have it. There appeared to be a struggle. Yeah, there. evidently there was a pretty bad struggle. Um... Found a pair okay, of slides. So, All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what got him was the DNA from the slides. Um, oh, hang on. This is what I have. Yes, awesome. Rabbit just sent this, and that's what we're, we're reading right now. This is what I want to get to. So during the abduction, there appears to be a struggle. The, and the, there's video of the abduction, and that's what I think a lot of people were looking for in the clothing, was there may be blood on there. Uh, when the police showed up, and this one doesn't show this for some reason, but the police got to the intersection where this happened. They found her cell phone shattered was the terminology that got me and her water bottle. And then they're also now they're saying that they found his slides. I know it sounds awful and gruesome of me, but I would love to see that picture. Like where you see his slides, her cell phone and the water bottle all sitting out because that has to paint a very broad picture of what happened. Mm -hmm. And you, and think about this, if this was, this is at an intersection, as far as I, it, the way I'm understanding it, how many people, you what, what was the intersection? Do we have a, do we have yeah, an address it's central, for that? It's central and, um, central and Zach Curlin Street. Zach, Z-A-C-H. Yeah, Zach H. Curlin, C-U-R-L-I-N Street. So Central and Curlin Street. But here's the thing. So um, the DNA got Abstin, uh, and also there's surveillance video that showed him wearing the slides earlier. Abstin's cell phone placed him near the intersection around the time Fletcher disappeared. U.S. Marshals found the GMC terrain on Saturday morning at an apartment complex in southeast Memphis. I'm trying to think. Southeast, where that is. Uh, police ended an interview with Abstin, still not knowing where Fletcher is. Uh, Fletcher is believed to have been seriously injured during her abduction. That's where I got that. So, so she's believed to be seriously injured during her abduction. And here's the thing. So, I mean, he probably, I mean, when you say seriously uh, injured, I mean, I don't know how, how to take that. Did he come in and he, like, rapped to her and tackled her? Was you know stab her, uh, punch her in the face. I mean, these are things. And guys, I'm not. This is not my ideas. Well, these well, are things. I, all well, everything I, I know what is led to that. Everything she's just running. Uh, no, I mean, I wonder what the, led to that assumption is that she was. That she, oh yeah, injured. yeah. 
she's a yes uh she's believed to have been seriously injured i have see i have no idea that's what i'm saying like is that on the video uh i don't know and i I know, like, right now, and this is something we talked about privately, everybody, last night in Discord, in the members-only section deal, is that does this type of thing, uh, like, when, when you talk about it, the only experience I have, personally, is from watching movies. And, you know, movies aren't real. I mean, I know that, right? But you, hey, those give you ideas and stuff. And mm -hmm. let's face it, everybody thinks about Taken. Taken may be the most terrifying movie anybody's ever seen. Um, but here's this is the part I want to read. This is a real big deal. Rabbit sent this to me. And this is uh, what we know about the guy. Abstin, the guy who's in custody, just spent 22 years in prison for being convicted of kidnapping an attorney. And he was just released in November of 2020. Oh, yeah, this guy spent 22 years for kidnapping, and that that just blows my mind away. That's uh, hey clumsy, how are you doing? Um, hey patriot lady, how are you? I've not been in the chat. I'm sorry. Uh, Gigi probably punched her in the face and head. Right? I mean, don't you uh, something? Uh. Let's see here. I, no, I wish the, I could find something about the search. That's what yeah. I keep asking because it's it's interesting that she's not found because she's got to be somewhere. Yeah, right. And and we can look at a map and kind of here in a second. Um, let's see here. So, Pedro Lee, her clothes were found at Property University. Um, no, they're. They think her clothes, a McDonald's employee told a reporter or like a, a Twitter person or whatever, but it's all over Twitter and everything else, that her clothes, her clothing matching hers, so the pink sports bra and the blue jogging shorts, were found in a dumpster behind McDonald's. And so that's where everybody was going in there. Um Listen, I hate I hate hearing that, but I've often wondered about like Uber drivers and stuff. How there's got to be a, a, there's probably a Reddit that I need mm -hmm. to see because there's probably a whole thing about uh, uh, stories. Um, I felt that way before too. Uh, oh wow! I didn't. I just saw this. Yeah, um, I watch ASP as well, too, Lestrin, and that is, I'm glad to know that. That is, yeah, uh, um. Hey, Rally. Let's see here. Uh, just see if I'm missing anything. Um. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to catch up here. Well, what was the phone? Yeah, it was uh, found. It was I found out on the street. Now, here's the thing: when you say university-owned property, uh, this is there's a little caveat to all that. Streets and sidewalks are owned by the city. The university owns everything off the streets and sidewalks, and I know that from in college, the uh, sidewalk preachers that would come in. And uh, uh, do you do you do you guys have those in Alabama, Sully? Uh, um, no, Sidewalk not creatures. anymore, not anymore. But we we did. But it's mostly um, bigger cities. I've seen them in. Well, in uh, uh, UT, they had okay. the yeah they had the sidewalk preachers, and it was uh, man this guy this one dude he knew how to get a crowd, and that crowd was he he would look at a girl. And he would call her a whore. And then all of a sudden it starts in and he's like, uh, he's like, you are, you know, when you are sleeping out in these fraternity houses, you are whoring yourself. I mean, this is how the guy was. He got his crowd 
and he walked around, um, you know, then he would read something from the, the Bible. It was the weirdest, most surreal thing. And everybody there, you have all these people that are mad at him and stuff. And I'm sitting here going, the guy is getting a lot of attention. Like, fast forward that to what we see on YouTube. And um, anyway, that's, uh, uh, that's typical. <laughs> he was clickbait. But anyway, I saw that white rabbit. Um, the, the the point of that was was that yes the police were around it and followed the the preacher and I actually asked them about that I'm sorry would you say no, about that, White Rabbit No she put up a comment that I had just I just read that a minute ago in that yeah. same thing that yeah that's uh in the that's actually in the next um let's see here that is in the I think that's the next column I have up so. I'm still looking for the affidavit. Let me just pull that down. Wait, wait, why do I? Okay, stop screen and share. Oh, hang on. Let me just check out Twitter. Bye, this, checking. This. Oh, see, it's checking convictions. I'm going to check out. Okay, yeah. So, oh, right, here's some. This is some really. Okay, this was wild that I just saw. And before I go to the next article, I want to share this. So this is some more video around the guy who is um, uh, accused. So this is, can you see this? Is this up? Yeah, okay. This, you, wait till you, one second here, y'all. I'm telling you, you're going to, it's, I don't know, it gave me the creeps. So this is the guy's booking photo. Hey, little headed. And, um, oh, is he here? Yes, he he just came in. Love what's up, man? I, I, do you know? You know a lot of stuff, man. I know. I should. I need to send you a thing. Yes. You um, send it. Yeah, send it over to okay. him. If he if he has time, he wants to come in. That'd be great. Okay. Bella, how are you doing? Uh, Listerine. Uh, yes, do it. Yes, yes. Please, please do it and uh, come back here. And we'd be happy to talk about that. <laughs> we we could have a whole whole day conversation. You know what? But that should be a live stream. I, I maybe I'll, I, let me think about that. I may do listen. I may do a live stream on um, uh, for like at least Tennessee about uh, people who want to get concealed carry and uh, you know because you want to take your protection into your own your own hands. I mean, at the end of the day, the police aren't there. I mean, they're just not there. The police are janitors. They clean up the mess. Uh, so anyway, this is the guy. Fine-looking suspect there. This uh, is the not, one that they, they've arrested, arrested and charged? Yeah, yeah. This is the guy who spent 22 years in jail for kidnapping an attorney. Uh, so the man charged kidnapping, pled guilty to the same crime in 2001. He was sentenced to 24 years. So why was he prowling our streets? Those responsible for letting this man out of prison should be facing charges too. Uh, identified as Cleotha Abston. Now this is the part that gets me. It's reported that Abston went to his brother's apartment to wash his clothes in the sink and clean the inside of the SUV. Oh. And here the police are taking the dumpster from outside his place. Hmm. I mean that's just... I, I don't know. I saw that. And this is the reason I wanted to share with y'all. I know you're like, okay, it's a dumpster being pulled. It gave me a sick feeling in my stomach. That's pretty amazing. They took the whole dumpster. Yeah. But they did find her clothes there. Um, so, well, no, I don't know. This is this is the this is at uh, Cleotha's. Uh, oh, that's apartment. not the same dumpster. No, this is where they arrested him after. Uh, that's see, interesting. His, his brother said that he came in and washed out the inside of the SUV and washed his clothes uh, in the sink. And then so they came out and they got the dumpster. The police did. Wow. Let's see here. And this is, that is in uh, Russia. So there's no more there. Uh, let's see here. What am I doing now? I'm going to take this off. There's another story here. Hang on. Where did the other one go? No. Um, is it this one? Nope. Oh, this one. Okay. So, and guys, this is still an active investigation. They don't know where she is. Uh, is she 
Uh, yeah, why won't he tell him where, where she is? This is, and this is yeah. the speculation part, guys. You know I only like to do facts, but this is the part of me that, that says, and this happened with the, the, this is the first time I've ever done something. Like this, and it started with Kylie Rodney. It's like, I think people see this and they see an abduction, because remember, Kylie Rodney, it was originally, originally reported that she was abducted. And you hear abduction and you think to yourself of the movie uh, Taken. And that's what I think like right now it's like okay it's really an amazing bold abduction. And I mean it's in a crowded parking lot. Yeah. I mean could it be accidental that she's a billionaire? That's the other thing. Yeah. So I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, she is she's an heir her family's worth 3 and a half billion dollars. Yeah. So, uh, let's see here. Let's stop that screen. I'm going to share. What's the last one here? Yeah, this is the one I want to share. Okay. So, make sure we got that right. Wait, where'd that go? So, this is also, the, all those are the, the uh, commercial appeal, which is the paper out of Memphis. Unfortunately, it too is owned by uh, USA Today. The commercial appeal traces its roots back to before the Civil War. And during the war, they put the printing press on a uh, uh, horse and buggy. And they w were eluding the Union and still printing papers. Is that not crazy? So, uh, commercial appeal is here. One charge in disappearance of Eliza Fletcher. Police say still no sign of missing Memphis teacher. Um... Oh, this is what we were looking for the whole time. How did that car get damaged? Remember his car? Yes. Where the front end of it was messed up? Look right here. See, uh -huh. right there, there is a police car coming after, and he was trying to run. And so they, uh, they just hit him. They said, nope, you're not going anywhere. One person has been charged, uh, has been arrested and charged in the disappearance of 34-year-old Memphis teacher, Although police said Sunday morning they still don't know where Eliza Fletcher is. In the early morning tweet, Memphis police said 38-year-old Cleotha Abson was charged with especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence. Police did not give more information on Abson or any prior connection to Fletcher. The arrest came roughly 12 hours. I mean, when have you ever seen something know, like that? I that's incredible. 12 hours, man. That is some heavy-duty detective work they got dna samples right. and uh done it, it has know. to be a big that that's got to be a open and shut i guess well it was all it was all like every the the attention and man hours they put onto this is unbelievable um memphis said <laughs> memphis said we're not gonna have a youtube community here well, they're not going to be talking about us not solving a crime. Uh, but anyway, the arrest came roughly 12 hours and they found the GMC terrain they said was used in Fletcher's abduction early Friday morning as she jogged on the University of Memphis campus. So, you know, uh, what Ra White Rabbit said, um, I thought about last night too, is her family, her billionaires, offered a $50,000 reward. Yeah. That's, that is... I guess that's a big reward in the whole, but a billionaire wants their daughter or granddaughter back. Um, that's pretty amazing that they offered fifty thousand oh, dollars. I didn't know this. Uh, why would he? I didn't either. Oh, hey, I like six hour. Why would he tell them where she is? Doesn't make it. Yeah, he's just he's not saying anything. Yeah. He's not saying anything. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, his... Uh, so, you, okay, you, you're billionaires. Why wouldn't you offer a million dollars? I'm sure the FBI has come in because remember, it was $50,000 for Kylie Rodney information too, right? Oh, okay. And I'm sure that there's a... Well, like some sort of like, um, I don't know, algorithm they have that if you offer a million dollars, then all of a sudden everybody who's a billionaire, one of their uh -huh. kids is going to be targeted. 
I see. You know, and it's like yes, that but makes if sense. we offer everybody fifty thousand dollars, it doesn't matter. And then also you also have as soon as you offer a billion a million dollars, people are gonna start saying, Oh, look at that, rich people get their way, you know, poor people they don't. Um, I, I'm sure that there's a I mean unfortunately yeah, I in that. law enforcement, so much of it now is public relations. Mm -hmm. You know. Um it's this is just so wow. This abduction just blows my mind. I, I mean that's really is movie. It that doesn't really happen like that ever. You know, no. you're in a parking lot and somebody just comes in, up and grabs you and throws you in a car. <laughs> what time did this happen? In uh, the day? before seven AM. Was, she went oh, that's like right. It was four. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and, and this is this. Is, you you want to hear a, a very morbid, uh, ongoing family joke? Is we'll be riding somewhere, and you'll see you'll see something that fits a uh, Eliza Fletcher uh, type of uh, body. You know, she's like five six, blonde very fit she's out there running by herself on the side of the road and it's like you see these girls and i'll look at them and i say oh look free girl or rabbit will say oh look there's a free girl because you know i have forgotten many times in the morning when i'm going to the gym or or biking or whatever i'm doing that that it's scary because i've just woke up my day has started and you know i don't I don't always, I, I have to keep it in my mind that it's, it's as dangerous at five in the morning as it is at midnight. Well, you know what? Most stuff happens during the middle of the day. Oh. Uh, is that not crazy? I mean, we're always scared about night and, uh, but well, yeah, I think most of those crimes, I think uh, Levy probably has those, that type of stats, uh, you know, about when crimes like that happen. But and usually it's it's there's a connection. You know, this is our greatest fears. My wife goes out for a jog. Me too, Rabbit. And here it is. Uh, uh, for him not to tell her, she just makes me sick. Th oh, it makes me think very bad things. Yeah, that's the. That's... I was actually talking about her saying she'd put up more than fifty thousand. Cause that that was me. That confuses me so much. Yeah, but I understand what you're saying now. I under that makes sense. Yeah, because it's always it's fifty thousand for everybody, and then it's like after that it starts going up, and it's usually it's community type donations. Right, but um, a billionaire is different. It seems like, but yeah, but did you know who these people were? I mean, she's a school teacher. I know. Um, and, he's a uh, uh, Joseph. Uh, yeah, the Ogle or something, but. Anyway, um, let's see here. A male exited the... So she was, around, she was running... Um, oh, hang on. I, I already have this after. Richard Fletcher, Eliza's husband, notified the Memphis Police Department that his wife had not returned from her run by 7 a.m. So he's awake. And a man on a bike who was riding the same route Fletcher was running found Eliza Fletcher's cell phone and a pair of Champion brand slides on the street. So it was a bike rider that found this stuff. Police reviewed surveillance footage from the nearby Earthquake Research and Information Center. And by the way, so you know, if those that don't know, Memphis is supposedly on a fault line that's like the big one. Like everyone talks about like Yellowstone erupting. Like Memphis is on a fault line that is, it will like, I don't know, it will split America into two uh, sections or something. And so... <laughs> Yeah, they do a lot of earthquake research there for some reason. Probably because of, you know, worry about an earthquake happening. Um, police, so they got uh, footage from the Earthquake Research Information Center on the, on the University of Memphis campus. Police said the video showed a black GMC terrain passing by and then waiting for Fletcher to run past. Oh, no. Oh, man. Do you think he followed her, or do you think he was just riding around and he goes, "Oh, look, there's a girl running. Let me go if down he here." He did and wait. something. If he did something nefarious, he probably followed her. Or if he was, um, if it was some kind of 
I, can I say inside job? Yeah, like, um, uh, are you talking about the stuff that was coming out that people were saying that her, her husband? Uh, no, that was that was something Jen came up with last night. I thought was really interesting, and I'm I I really understand how she's thinking that because hey, the husband's the only other one that. Like, didn't he wait a couple of hours? And I think I said something funny about that. But it would be weird if I went for a run and my husband waited two or three hours to call the police. If it was for a run. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. But, I mean, I don't know. That was just an interesting speculation. But there's a lot of money in, in that. Because, I mean, this is his granddaughter, right? Yes, yes. So it's a different last name and everything. Uh, and they live modestly. Uh, they have, a, it's a nice house. Right, um, but somebody knows that. I wonder if he, I, I'm eager to find out more about him. Melanie, where are the odds you kidnap a billionaire heiress? Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, Thank how many you are there? for putting my words. Yeah, you're right. I mean, how many yes. are there, right? There's there's not that many. Golly. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see, a male exited uh, and then forced the victim into the passenger side of the vehicle. That was a red. During the abduction, there appears to be a struggle. Uh, then the SUV was parked for approximately four minutes before driving away from the site. So four minutes... I mean, I'm just guessing he knocked her out, right? I don't know. Officials, after reviewing the footage, found the approximately 24 minutes before the abduction. Uh, surveillance footage captured the same vehicle in the area and captured a partial plate. The slides were sent to TBI for DNA testing, which later was found to match absent in a national DNA database from a previous conviction. That's the kidnapping. Uh, MPD investigators began looking into Abson, into what Abson had been doing. This is so funny. This is funny for me because I'm from Memphis, okay? And I'm sitting here going, uh, Memphis Police Department investigators began looking into Abson, into what Abson had been doing uh, in the days prior. I'm here, I read it as, you have a couple of cops sitting around going, hey, this Abson guy, y'all know what he been up to? What's he, what's this he doing lately? You know, it, it just, I don't know. It's, it's, it got me tickled. I apologize. Um, police question, um, uh, during the investigation, I also found the train was registered to, oh, the train was registered to a woman who's not being named as she has not been charged in a crime. Um, oh, investigators began looking at what I've been doing the days prior and found footage of him wearing the same slides at the Malco Cordova Cinema on Thursday. Thursday night he goes to see him. He goes to see a movie, and they spotted his slides. They, he, they spotted what footwear he had on. Is that not mind blowing? So, okay, so that is a pretty. Uh, that's amazing. I mean, it is. Think about it. when you go to a movie. You're sitting there with a bunch of randos. You have no idea who's around you. And here we are a, a, a day or so later, and we're talking about kidnapping somebody, violently kidnapping somebody. Yes, violent abduction. That's how it's described. I mean, that's just... Uh, police questioned the owner of Majesty's Cleaning Service where Abson worked and verified he drove the terrain and also provided investigators with his cell phone number. The number was used to determine that Absent was at the time of Fletcher's abduction. Where, excuse me, where Absent was at the time of Fletcher's abduction, confirming he was in the area at the time. Uh, U.S. Marshals found the car Saturday parked at the address listed on an incident report from Thursday. So I guess Thursday, because they said like the tail light was out. So Thursday was a big day for this guy. He got hit, his car was hit, or somebody smashed his tail light, and he went to go see a movie. Then after that, he's like, "Okay, now I gotta go get that billionaire chick." 
And then, you know, he went to his brother's. Yeah, to wash his clothes. Yeah, right. Uh, along and, with and confirming that's where, yeah, and that's the car, the license car. plate, surveillance footage also showed the car to have noticeable damage to the rear passenger side taillight, which was also visible to marshals at the apartment complex. When law enforcement officials tried to arrest Abson, he was in the terrain at the time. They say he attempted to drive away, but ended up being taken into custody. That's where... I'm going to lose where I am right there. That's where that photo comes into play. So he tried to leave, and they... That's a police officer that's blocking yeah. in right there? Yeah, that's a police wow. block, yeah. So that's where that damage came from. Uh, law enforcement officials said they tried to arrest him, tried to flee. Another woman was interviewed, although it's not clear from the affidavit when or where she spoke to law enforcement. The woman said she saw Abstin outside the home of her bro- of his brother, Mario. He kidnapped someone, Gigi. She told investigators uh, Cleotha Abs- Abstin did not live there, but she saw Cleotha uh, cleaning the interior of the GMC with floor cleaner and say that he was behaving oddly. Yes. The woman and Absent's brother uh, both told investigators they saw Absent cleaning his clothes in the house sink. That's oh, jeez, man. This, I just got sick. That's so uh, let me go over here and read the chat. Uh, uh, oh, the brother was also arrested Sunday on a variety of drug charges. He has oh, was not he been really? He's not been charged in relation to her disappearance, but he is believed. Uh, oh, that would be the second person not. that Good Morning America was talking about. Okay, they said police that somebody said. else was arrested in connection. Uh, Eliza Fletcher is still missing, and the affidavit said Absent would not provide investigators her location. Uh, police believe Fletcher to have suffered serious injury based on the violence of the abduction with the suspect uh. waiting for, then rushing toward the victim, then forcing the victim in the vehicle where she was confined and removed and continues to be missing. Further, it is probable and apparent from witness statements that these injuries left evidence, e.g. blood, in the vehicle that the defendant cleaned. Oh. That right there is the I, yeah. Why can so I not got, find the affidavit? Have that. Absence was also convicted of aggravated kidnapping just over 22 years ago. Court records, he was sentenced to 24 years in that case, and his sentence ended in November 2020. If he was still in jail two more years, she would still be she would be alive. The, so there is a a dude that does not need to be in population with uh, in America. This guy does not need to be out walking the streets. Why? And, there's just something wrong with the guy. And uh, to me... He's been in prison for 22 years. But he goes back and does the same crime he got convicted Right, exactly. Of. Not even that's, a year later. Yeah, that's or what's weird. There's no rehabilitation. There is no remorse here. There's no... I mean... Uh, I don't know. It's just... It's so... I don't know. In that case, Absent had kidnapped a Memphis lawyer who also spent time working for the Innocence Project. Now, the Innocence Project, that's something I think Convictions knows about, right? Oh, that's right. Who spent time, Eliza? Uh, no, Absent, the guy who kidnapped Oh, her. really? Yeah, who worked for the Innocence Project. Or that's worked with weird. them. Yes, yeah, so that's a big... Uh, that's just, it, it's huge. It's just huge. Uh, being kidnapped and murdered very differently. Yes. Jen. Do we know the timeline from when she disappeared to when he washed his clothes? Um, no. And timeline on that one is like how long apart is that? I don't she know. She went missing at 4.30 a.m. You know what? I forgot to take notes. You know, if Texas Jen was here, she would take notes. I know. She does that. I, I wish know. she was here. I know. I know. Uh, see here. The Patriot Lady, you combine a family of billionaires. The reality of sex trafficking. That's, that's, that's the thing everybody talks about now. And drug trafficking, dealing, there are many possibilities that can happen. At Inc., how are you doing? 
At six forty-five, a man found the cell phone in the slides, and then what time did her husband call? Did her husband call? Yeah, like at seven or seven thirty. What time did you say they found the slides? Six forty-five. Okay, that's, so they they say the guy on the bike found them at six forty-five. He and then the four thirty is when um, she went running. No, uh, it, let's see, went missing. Went missing after a jog, September second at four thirty. So I guess that's interpretation. Let's see here. Uh, Large-scale search, the disappearance of Fletcher, a teacher at St. Mary's Episcopal School in Memphis, and mother of two. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, there's so, a giant park near where she went missing. Yeah, Overton Park is there. I and wonder they, if... They said that they were... Uh, yesterday, what I saw was a thing that said that police were in Overton Park looking around, too. Um, hey, Ink. The family has met with police and have shared with them all the information we know. More than anything, we want to see Liza return home safely. She is five foot six, weighs 137 pounds, brown hair, wearing purple shorts and a pink sports bra. I mean, I, I don't remember that guy. Let's see, where's his mugshot? So uh, he is six foot two, almost six two. So yeah, I mean. He has a, a size difference on her, <laughs> that's for sure. Right. Uh, but I mean, five set or five six is not a short woman. One hundred thirty seven no. pounds. She's very athletic. Um, I mean, but if they just, if he just, I mean, he pulled up. Obviously, oops, he, but I did he, not mean to do that. I wish we had footage of that, but um, oh, the uh, he just pulled kidnapping. up and grabbed her. You no, know, he waited so, for. Her. He oh. waited for her. Yeah, that's what it set up here. Was there was... Uh, it gives new details. Uh, yeah, so police reviewed surveillance footage from the nearby earthquake center. And that video showed a black GMC terrain passing by and then waiting for Fletcher to run past. And then he kidnapped her, or grabbed her, forced her... Um, uh, uh, forced her into the the vehicle, and then um, waited like four minutes before he drove away. Let's see here. I just that is so that. weird. I can't process that. I'm sorry, I forgot. But but I'm just thinking, how how did he know she was going running? I mean. That how if he was waiting for her, did he see her coming from a long way away, or well, he passed I mean, that's a her. park. He passed her and pulled over and waited for her. Okay. I mean that's just that's eerie. That's a horrible eerie thing. But I mean, it can happen. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, I mean it's uh. Well, it's, it's like a spider, how a spider catches its prey. You know, it makes a web, and it sits there and it waits. So, yeah, it's a... Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's a, uh, it, it's a, a scary and weird uh, thing. But hold on here. There's more. Let's see here. Where is uh, the Southeast Memphis? Let's see. There's a... Let me get on this real quick. That's not what I want. I want... Sorry, guys. I'm, I have a Facebook uh, page dedicated to this that I am a uh, member of, but I had to agree not to share anything to become a member. So I don't want to show any of their stuff. And I don't want to do anything. I just want to see if they have anything uh, new about it. Um, yeah, that's what I wonder too, Jen. That's that's why that stopped me. Unless he's seen her before. I mean, maybe he was, you know, stop, or, or maybe he knows somebody that knows her, you know? It's really weird. Yeah. 
do you think central memphis is from your experience there do you do you think that is a safe place for somebody i mean i know the world is not a safe place yeah, but way, is that a dangerous place i should ask to go jogging I in the morning i don't wouldn't jog anywhere right. i mean you but know in and, jogger world if you, you know, were a jogger would that be a, a safer yeah, place what do you think rabbit there's another one, like in Knoxville, uh, years ago, there was a jogger going through a park, and Knoxville has a incredible amount of parks. They have some of the most beautiful park system, uh, some of the most beautiful parks I, I've seen, especially for a town its size. Um, you know, nobody, it's Knoxville. I mean, you don't think of crime happening there. And a uh, jogger was abducted, and they found... Uh, her decapitated uh, head, oh. uh, like floating down the river. So I don't um, know. I don't think that's a big college population. That, that's not a big campus in Memphis, is it? Yeah, it's. Uh, they're oh, it is. Big. Yeah, it's so like. Um, let me. Okay, so if, if like college wise, it's not. I don't think of oh, it might be now, but it used to not be. It was more like a, a, you know, I don't know what like University of Tennessee is like where you would consider like that's where you, that's your state college. That's your um, uh, what's that land grant college, right? And Memphis is, I don't know how it, it got its formation, how it got started, but it's a big college, but it's not. What I, I remember of it, you know, you don't think of it as being like a college like University of Tennessee is, uh, right. or like a University of Alabama, or like a Georgia would be a good one. You know, you go to this little small town, and here's this huge university, right? Uh, this is, uh, you're in the middle of a huge city. Um, let's see if this has any updates on it. Uh, I'm looking at the Facebook. Memphis Police, not that. Okay, this has some information a little bit here. Let me get this, bring this over here. I'm work. I'm working on dual browsers. Two males tasks. arrested. B Legend came in. Uh, two males arrested him and his brother. Yeah, that's what I just found. That's what I just. We found. saw the we saw the dumpster leaving. Yeah, and that was supposedly at the. Uh, yeah, another channel posted a video a few minutes ago. That's what I just found, B Legend. That's awesome. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's what. Let's see. I'm going to share this. That's what I was trying to bring up here. Share screen. <laughs> Chris. Um, let's do this. So, all right, here we go. Man charged of connection and abduction of mother near Memphis. Uh, University of Memphis records show that su suspect accused of abducting Eliza. Fletcher might have severely injured her. Severely injured her. That's an update. Uh, he's been charged with especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence. Uh, a second person who is currently not believed to be connected to Fletcher's abduction is also arrested during this investigation. Uh, and Fletcher has not been located. Uh, let's see here. Update. The individual who was detained. This is from the Memphis Police. Who, was, who has... A, the individual who was detained has been officially charged in connection with the abduction of Eliza Fletcher. At this point in the investigation, Cleotha Abston has been charged with especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence. Wait mm. a second. He's 38? Mm. Well, he's been in prison 22 years. That, that, so he hey, was 16 when sense. he... yeah. That when he kidnapped, make sense, does it? Wow, wow. Uh, on September second, Memphis Police Department responded to a missing person call in the fifteen hundred block of Carr Avenue. Uh, let's you know, let me start finding that. Let's do fifteen hundred block Carr Avenue. What we got? Responded to a missing person. Oh, you got the affidavit. Second is the story about this guy abducting Kia Tony. 
Yeah, it didn't pop up. A 16-year-old abducted an attorney. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm reading right now. Thank you. Um, okay, hang on a second here. We got so guys, what I ju what just happened? <laughs> my wife came in and said, "I just texted you two things. You need to go check these out." So let me. This is uh, both of these are. Let's go down here. This is she found the affidavit for us. Oh, awesome! So, yeah, so I'm gonna pull this up, and how it's gonna be weird how it gets pulled up here, because I have to upload this. It's a picture, so let's see here. Delete overlay. Let me sure I got enough space here. All right, so this is gonna be now. When it's a picture, I can't. Uh, make it larger on the screen but i'm going to pull it up and then i'm going to read it so you guys can, and those the people that are new here i am a uh uh i am a a lawyer by trade right and uh now youtuber so i'm gonna just i know i sound like an idiot because i am an idiot let's face it mm -hmm. uh but it, I'll, I'm going to go over this, and if there's any type of stuff... Oh, geez, that is impossible to see, isn't it? Can you see that at all? It's it's hard to read. Yeah, all right. Um, let me try to... I'm going to read it out loud, and I'll put this on... I'll put this on YouTube, on the communities page. Uh, if, if, you, if you're subscribed and you get a notification, I'll put this on my communities. And what will happen is that you'll get a, a notification when this pops up. So you can look at the affidavit yourself. Uh, and I'll do that as soon as the stream's over. Let's see. Uh, I already forgot what I'm looking for. I'm sorry. So here we go. Gosh, that is hard to read. Um, gosh, even on full screen, this is hard, guys. On Friday, uh, September 20th, at approximately 7 a.m., Memphis police officers responded to a missing person at the 1500 block of Carr Avenue. Richard Fletcher advised his wife, Eliza Fletcher, went for her regular run around 4 a.m. and had not returned home. She was last seen wearing a pink shirt, purple shorts, and running shoes. At approximately 6.45 a.m., citizen Mike Fortas rode his bike on Central Avenue near Zach Curlin Street and found the victim's cell phone as well as a pair of champion slide sandals laying in, in the street in the same area. So, imagine, like, I don't know, her phone was, like, you know, in her shorts, like, short pocket or something like that, and, or in the waistband, and he grabs her... And he he slides out of his slides, and her phone slides out of her shorts. I'm guessing like in the same area, right? That's what it, when they say same area. That's how I interpret it. Uh, Fortress turned the items over to the family member of the victim, who in turn turned them over to investigators. Thereafter, investigators located video surveillance near 3876 Central Avenue that showed a black GMC terrain passing. And then waiting for the victim to run by. Um, if you remind me, Sully, after this, I'll do a, uh, a map. So, it, like, I'll do where 3876 Central is and uh, do the narrative here. Uh, male exited the black GMC terrain, ran aggressively towards the victim, and then forced the victim, uh, Eliza Fletcher, into the passenger's side of the vehicle. During this abduction, there appeared to be a struggle. The champion slide sandals were found in the area. The vehicle then s sat in the parking lot with the victim inside for approximately four minutes before driving off. The vehicle had noticeable damage to the back passenger taillight area. Additionally, approximately 24 minutes before the abduction surveillance footage captured the same vehicle in the area and a partial plate. On uh, Friday the 22nd, the champion slide sandals were sent to the TBI for DNA testing. Thereafter, investigators developed uh, Cleotha Abstin as a person of interest in the investigation. DNA found on the shoes matched DNA for Cleotha Abstin. Uh, he is in the national database. This led investigators to seek to confirm the whereabouts of Cleotha during, before, during, and after the abduction. Investigators were able to recover surveillance footage 
of him wearing the same champion slides the day before the abduction. The footage was obtained from the 1080 North Germantown Parkway Malco Theater. It was collected by Sergeant uh, Dobbins. Cleo Thabson was found to reside at the 5700 block of Waterstone Oak Way. This location, uh, let's see where they go. Uh, oh, Oak Way for Cleo Thabson. Wait, hold on, I messed, I, I'm lost now, sorry about that. Uh, was, oh, was found in database reveal. Galanda Brown has a black GMC terrain vehicle. Uh, with has the two numbers of the uh, license plate they could get DNX uh, is registered to her. Investigators also located a police report dated 9 uh, 2022 that listed the address of 5700 block of Waterstone Oak, uh, Cleotha Absin. Sergeant Payne and Sergeant Barrett then interviewed the owner of Majesty's Cleaning Service, Marilyn Pickens, who verified the employee Cleotha uh, Absin that he drives a the GMC train and that his telephone number was. Y'all want to call him up? Think he'll answer in jail? Uh, investigators obtained the cellular phone records for that phone number. An analysis determined that the cellular device lo- associated with the number was near 3876 Central Avenue during the time Eliza Fletcher was seen being forced into the black GMC train. At approximately 10.45 a.m., so, okay, here's your timeline. Uh, Texas Gen, are you taking notes? So, at 6.45, a citizen uh, turned in uh, the slide and the, I saw the slides and the uh, shoes, right? And from, um, uh, where? what time is this? 29 minutes ago. Uh, can you send that to me? I don't know how. Just hit forward? Um... Or just snapshot that page. Sorry, there's there's an update with what they're now uh, another uh, command post in Shelby County. Uh, it's coming up on Twitter, and we're, I'm trying to get that information to, to show you guys after this. So, uh, okay, so what do we have, Sully? Where are we at? 4 a.m. She went running. Um. Yes. And they. And 6:45, the six... guy found the slides in the cell phone, right? Yes. So now we're down to 10.45 a.m. Uh, this is when they located the GMC train. So four hours. Didn't her husband call? At, some at seven. At seven he called. At seven, that's what I thought. Yeah, so this is a four-hour investigation. Holy cow, man. They got that stuff quick. They did. Uh Let's see here. Uh, approximately 1045 GMC terrain was located by members of the U.S. Marshal Service Two Rivers Violent Fugitive Task Force. Wow. Oh, yeah. Those dudes don't mess around. Have you ever dealt with the U.S. Marshals? I, uh, pardon, no. <laughs> I know who they are. I have some family members that are in that organization, but I don't. Personally, I haven't had any run-ins with them. Yeah, the, well, you don't want to run in with the U.S. Marshal. They take law enforcement serious. Uh, they're not. They're not these other uh, agencies. So when they have a violent fugitive task force, uh, that's the people that escape uh, federal prison. You know, these are the worst of the worst, and these dudes go in there. I mean, they're every time they they're get the out of the car. Dudes. Yeah, every time they get out of the car, they're doing a SWAT movement. You know. Um, the vehicle was, low, was backed into a parking spot in the parking lot area of, of the 5700 block of Waterstone Oak Way. It was confirmed to be the vehicle by the license plate number. Now, there's no damage to the rear passenger side taillight. The damage was uh, captured in the video of the abduction partial plate identification surveillance footage. Further, members of the U.S. Marshals Service Two Rivers Violent Fugitive Task Force observed a male subject matching the physical description of Cleotha Absent standing in the doorway of uh, 5700 block Western Way. Officers then detained Cleotha Absent uh, at this location uh, while he occupied that GMC terrain. When officers stopped Cleo the uh-huh. he uh, attempted to flee, but was taken into custody. 
Investigators interviewed Chantil Anthony, and she stated that after the abduction, at approximately 750 hours, so at 750, she saw Cleotha at the home of Mario Absence, which is his brother. This is the house that Cleotha Absence lives. Uh, so right. at 645 is the abduction. At 750, somebody has spotted him without her. Right. Uh, she stated that she saw Cleotha Abson clean the interior of the GMC terrain with floor cleaner and stated that he was behaving oddly. Uh, that was later confirmed by Mario Abson, Cleo's brother, who stated that he too saw Cleo uh, cleaning the interior of the car with floor cleaner. Uh, Chantel and Mario saw Cleo washing his clothes in the sink of the house. He stated that it appeared Cleo was acting very strangely. Uh, he declined to provide investigators with the location of the victims, as the abduction was violent with, as the abduction was violent with, as captured on video, the suspect waiting for, then rushing towards the victim, then forcing the victim into the vehicle where she was confined, and removed, uh, and contains to be missing. Is believed and supported by the facts, and then I got I'm out of the page. All right, so let's go here to the next page, so you guys can read it. Uh, let's see here. All right, there we go. Now I gotta go back to my photos program and try to enlarge this. It's uh, believed and supported by the facts and physical evidence that she suffered serious injury. Further, it is probable and apparent. Uh, from witness statements that these entries left evidence, e.g. blood in the vehicle that the defendant cleaned. And the, they arrested him where? Wasn't he in a public space when they arrested him? He was at 5700 Oak Way, where the uh, woman had the, uh, uh, who the, uh, the terrain was registered to. Yes. So, and then that is the end of the affidavit. That's in General Sessions Court. So, so she's got to be between those two places, maybe. Right? Um, so let's see here. Oh, let's pull up a map. Let's, let's, start, let's see if we can find her. Well, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't it? Oh, whoa. Man, that just gave me, that got my stomach churned again. All right, hold on. Let me read this again. Let's pull, I need to pull this up. So this is the... Is, is the 911 call been released, Jim? Well, the 911 call has to be from her husband. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not a, it's not a frantic well, I, call. Well, that'll be interesting. Um, okay. So, at 7.50, he was at the 1700 block of South Orland Street. All right, let me see if I can pull this up. Ryan up church is in the house. Where? Hey, Ryan. Do what? Ryan up church. Just is talked he to here? Him. Yes, he oh, is. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, man. Oh. Awesome. Okay, cool. Hey, welcome to the chat, Ryan up church. Uh, hey, man, anytime you want to talk, you, you get a link. So he set that up for him. Okay. Um. So this is a big deal. I, I was going to talk about uh, the stream... So Ryan, since you're here, uh, this was going to go from uh, uh, this girl who was abducted violently in Memphis to, I was going to talk about the Kylie uh, uh, Rodney stuff. I was listening to a Zav Girl in the background and um, haven't gotten there yet. This is, uh, this is the girl in Memphis, uh, Liza Fletcher. She was violently abducted on uh, the second, Friday the second, while running at 4 a.m., uh, and between 4 and 7.45 a.m., the uh, police were, uh, or excuse me, at 7.50 a.m., uh, the, the individual that the police have arrested, he was spotted cleaning out his car and washing his clothes. Uh, so it's like a three-hour time window. But the Memphis police, between the time of the abduction and getting an arrest, was within five hours, I believe. Uh she was running on, they got her, it's on uh, Central Avenue, and uh, what was the, 
one Sully at Central Avenue and um, uh, thirty eight seventy six Central Avenue. Oh, yeah. and Zach Kernan, Zach Kernan, C U R N A N. Kernan. Yeah, and it's right there in front of the University of Memphis. Yeah. This is where the brother lives. So, all right, That's hang on a second here. I've got. Did you send that to me? Okay, awesome. I'm getting ready to pull up a picture here. I've got. Uh, we now have where the brother lives, and what did you say was the? Where they're searching currently. Where they're, they're searching the currently. Oh, that's what I want to see. Yeah. So let's see here. Let me add that to photos, and I'm gonna pull this up. Um. Bill Street is way down in uh, is in downtown Memphis, so. Uh. Yeah, she was. This chick, man, is just, it's a crazy story. She's a, it's her, her grandfather is a billionaire. He's worth $3.5 billion. And she goes missing. Uh, you know, it's, it's a completely, it, there's no story. She's just gone. They found her cell phone shattered in the middle of the street. And now His we're finding out that they found the, uh, yeah, the slides. They were champion slides that this guy was in. They already found the video of him seeing a movie on Thursday where the same slides. They have uh, the car that he was in. They noticed the damage on the rear taillight. And they've got that. That's how they identified it. Uh, they got two letters of the license plate, and which were also matched up as DX. When they're side by side, they matched those up and put them um, uh, when they found the, the car. The U.S. Marshals Violent Felony Recovery Team went in to get this guy. Uh, not violent felony, violent felon recovery team. These are bad dudes. I mean, these are like guys that ride around listening to, uh, you know, SWAT music <laughs> all day. <laughs> uh, they get out of the car. They go They go crazy. You know, and not, I mean, crazy in a good way. Like, they are there to take people down. Uh, yeah, Savannah's got it right. She is... Uh, her family's worth three and a half billion dollars. And that was another thing that people were asking about. Why was there only a $50,000 reward? And that $50,000 reward is because of, it's like an algorithm uh, thing. Oh yeah. And also, uh, yeah, they don't mess around, do they? I'm from Memphis originally as uh, I've got family at work down uh, on the police department. I'm like, yeah, this is, they don't mess around. Yeah, and I also I forgot. So Ryan, I also put in my uh, my title this want to talk about Kylie Rodney and Ryan Upchurch because I saw your video last night, and I have an interesting take on it that I think uh, uh, I, that I think a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of my followers agree with the way your 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 mind is working and clicking, and we uh, I, it was I don't know it's going to be a real cool thing. Oh, you used to date Chicken Millington? No way. Oh, crazy, man. Yeah, that's uh, I've got family that lives in Millington. Uh, you know, Millington's the only uh, U.S. naval base that's not on the water. <laughs> yeah, Millington's a cool place, man. That whole, people don't realize Shelby County, how, like, Shelby County is so different than Memphis. And uh, man, that place, you get outside of Memphis, and it's just plain old backwoods Tennessee. Uh, it's a fun place, man. I all that stuff is. I love Tennessee, uh, but yeah, that uh, the the Memphis cops, man, they do not mess around. That is one thing for sure. You didn't see any of the stuff from the when they were burning down cities and stuff a couple of years ago. You didn't notice anything like that happening in uh, uh, Memphis. So, so uh, uh, how far how far was it? I, and I'm I may be missing it, but. Um, from where she was running to where they found the car. Um, I don't know. I, I have uh, I got to pull that map up. But Ryan here, just quick, let's uh, address this. Uh, what do you? What do I think happened to the Kylie girl? And this is the thing that started. So Ryan, I do facts. Okay, when I I do this stuff, and my background, I start off in politics, and then I went to made. I say I made the mistake of going to law school, and so I look at things from uh, illegal facts, okay? And then the Kylie Rodney thing happened, 
and it's the first time I've ever stepped outside of my comfort zone of staying with the facts. And I said, you know, that movie Taken comes to mind. And so that's what, unfortunately, that's what it, it kind of felt like. And then I didn't know anything. I watched you, Ryan, on your reaction on Zab's video when uh, the AWP people said that they had talked to the tow truck driver. And I was like, holy cow, like you had the same reaction that I did. And I'm like, now all of a sudden that seems like there's something else there. And that's something that uh, everybody needs to, to talk about. Because it, why do we talk about true crime? We need to get away from the gossip and the he said, she said stuff about stuff. And, and start focusing more on, hey, this doesn't need to happen in America anymore. The way our politicians try to deal with it is stupid. Okay, whenever there's a crime, the only thing they care about is whether or not it was gun violence, and then they, they want to do something to restrict guns. In reality, what we need to be doing is we need to work together as a community to say these are the bad hombres. We live in a, a society right now where sex slaves, like, there's more slavery in this world today than there ever has been. And it's because of the sex slave industry. And people are not, it, it's like the awareness that goes to it is like, People shrug it off, and it needs to be exposed. It needs to be, look gross to people. They need to be outraged, and that's what I worried about with Kylie. So much of it reminded me of uh, Gabby Petito, and with Gabby Petito, there's a guy uh, on the run out there. I think I believe his name was John Colt. That dude is a crazy, crazy. Uh, uh, Oh, dude, man, I totally understand what you're saying. They don't understand how it could go down. And your videos, like what you're saying, this is the way I interpret it, okay? This is just my opinion right now. Uh, when you say something, uh, yeah, man, I got links. Yeah, hang on a second, man. I'll, I'll bring you up here. Let's do this. Uh, but when you say something, it's a... Uh, 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 okay, I'm going to let you up here and nobody else is up here. Uh, I don't open the panel stuff for everybody <laughs> because I, we don't need to go down the weird stuff. But when you say something, you've got such a broad following. Um, oh, okay, yeah, man, I'll check it out right now. Hang on. Uh, that it is good. It gets people talking. Let's see here. Where is that's the live stream? Let me go back to YouTube. Let's go over here to all right. On the up church community. Oh dude. Weird. Oh man. Oh dude. Okay, I haven't pulled this up, brother. Man. Oh uh, hey, you should have the link in the uh uh, is in the uh, chat right now. Oh, hang on. Let me go over to the main chat. Duh. Let me pin that up there for you. Uh, let's see here. Paste and then send that and then where is that? All right, there you go. And pin message. All right, there you go, man. It's pinned to the top. You want in? Jump on in. Uh, but yeah, that, I have not shown that yet because I, this is something I do also is that I like to do stuff with people. Like I, I will not read a full article. I will not talk about something until you can get my initial reaction with people. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to show up oh. Mr. Upchurch. How you doing, bro? Dude, look at all this crazy shit, bro. Dude, it's crazy. It's wild, man. It's wild. Um, let's see here. Let me hide your comp. There you go. Uh, hey, man, it's good. It's good to have a fellow Tennessean up here. <laughs> oh, what uh, you? Bro? Well, you ain't got Sam here. Yeah. Hey, man, I appreciate that. I'm in East Tennessee right now. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, Sully, who's up here, she's. Uh, hey, Ryan. Uh, I have to give. I would give her a hard time, man, because she's a University of Alabama person. So, yeah. <laughs> but she, gra she graduated from it's there, right? Good. That's right. But, um, dude, man, hang on here. I'm going to pull up your, uh, your well, you just put in your community page, and we talk about that. That is, um, 
I'm telling you, man, you're crazy like a fox is what I try to tell people. <laughs> and and they don't understand that. And I'm like, you, the way you do your videos and stuff and the way you talk on regular, like how you are now, well, yeah, mm. people just, they don't get it. Uh, and I, I, like I said, man, I think you're crazy like a fox. So, <laughs> all right, here you go. This is, you found these pictures right out of Tahoe, California. Weird. You know how I found them? With the hashtag Kylie Rodney. Really? Now, who's the brunette over here? I have no idea. But this is Gabby Petito right here. Yep. And now, who are these people? Oh, that's uh, that's uh, Brian Laundry. And who's this dude? Random guy. Random guy. Oh. Hmm. So, I just I didn't want to I didn't want to say anything about it. Yeah. I just wanted to post it because that's oddly similar for somewhere. You know where people tend to go missing and stuff, and not only that, there's it's a plastic surgery cesspool. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, you know, people. Uh, I like what you're, you're doing. You do like these drive-by. Uh, uh, you're like um, I'm trying to think of words without getting. Gear turn. Uh, you, <laughs> what'd you say? Gear turner. Yes, gear turner. That's so much better. I was going to use a different analogy. I was like, wait a second, YouTube might take down my stream. You're a <laughs> gear turner, and you are. You're, you're turning the gears in people's minds. And some people take that as completely off uh, Kelter. And I'm like, oh. you guys know, the, it, it, it's hard. Well, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm I'm talking too much. Uh, but it's you, good, bro. I just want, I want you to get on, you see the page that I'm on with you on this, is that it's you're a uh, uh, you you make you, know, you make people the gears in people's minds turn and people don't realize that they need to see both sides to have a broad conversation about stuff. So mm -hmm. whenever you saw okay, I always use this reference. You saw the movie World War Z, I'm sure, right? Yeah. You know, it's like there's a scene in there, like all the zombies are coming and Brad Pitt's characters talking to the guy in Israel. And it's like, how did you guys defeat this? And it's like. Well, we have a thing here. Like, if there's 13 guys in a room all making a decision, one person has to say the opposite of what the majority says. Mm -hmm. So that way you can think through that process, too. And he says, I was the guy who had to think the opposite. And that's what that's what I try to do on a lot of stuff. That's why I wait and don't do initial reactions because people aren't ready for you. Again. No, dude. Thank Ryan, you. have you looked at have you looked at the Eliza Fletcher case? Uh, I have not. Uh, but it, sorry, go on. But yeah, uh, that's so crazy you said that because I call it opposite language, and dude, I literally live by opposite language. Dude, that's awesome, man. Uh, and it, it's. It's funny, man. I'm that same way, and that's what I mean. You know, like I said, dude. I went to law school, and you think, oh, okay, well, lawyer. You know, they do. That's everything you do, but it's not. It's there is just it's a thing that people either you understand it or you don't. And my mm -hmm. my chat, my subscribers, they're usually all are into. They'll say stuff to me that I'm like, what made you think that? And I'm telling you, man, I didn't know who you were a few weeks ago. And it was my chat that kept saying, you got to check out Ryan Upchurch. He reminds me of so much of what you're saying and he's doing all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, when I get time, I'll check him out. <laughs> yeah. So I'm glad I did, brother, man. This is awesome. Dude, thank you, man. Yeah. Uh, I heard you in here talking. I listened for a minute. I was like, okay, hell yeah. I was like, this guy's open to shit. I want to see what he's talking about. Well, well Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say. Well, I mean, that's uh, I hadn't gotten to Kylie yet. Uh, you know oh, that stuff. Yeah. And let me ask you. So you've put this up today. Um, do you have? What, well, I mean, let's just let's let's turn gears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's start doing it. What do you think, man? What's your? Bro, it's so crazy. There, and this dude. This is what makes me think sometimes. I'm like, dude, because think about this. I know this sounds crazy, but, hey, sometimes you got to think crazy, you know? Yeah. I think, what if some of this shit, obviously you can't give an application to be like, <laughs> I mean, I guess you could, but 
you can't give applications for certain jobs that are in the government, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of motherfuckers out here that don't think. Mm-hmm. And it's very hard to find people that think outside the box. But thinking outside the box isn't always right. But it might be that one right thing that nobody else could think of, you know? And what if this is what if this is a way to find people to work special jobs that think weird? I think uh, like that sometimes. Well, you know what's funny about that is is you, you're right about that. So let's say uh that, that's what's so beautiful about the the internet you know um i'm always i'm always thanking al gore for inventing this thing uh <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know the, the internet is it gives us an opportunity to brainstorm and we, we get to crowdsource our ideas and stuff and there is somewhere there's and you know this is in entertainment you you put out a few things you get a big hit and all of a sudden you've bypassed everything like the music industry has put together for the last hundred years, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you're doing it as a self creator and you do that on uh, this. Well, man, look at that movie. Catch me if you can. Uh, oh, yeah. That guy, you know, with uh, Tom Hanks and um, um, uh, Leonardo mm -hmm. DiCaprio, that's based on a true story. That guy mm -hmm. was making money and the FBI couldn't catch him. And when they caught him, they offered him a job. <laughs> yeah, and you take that same that same thought, and that is, man, that's everything. Yeah, I mean, it, it, this could be job trading. <laughs> You're Bro, right. Hey. I yeah. mean, dude, look how many people are missing. Like the dude, it's crazy because being I don't know how old you are, but I'm in my thirties. Mm -hmm. So most shit I see for what it just is, and that's it. If you if you see shit for what it is now. It's almost like people want a crazy ass story, mm -hmm. but when you're when you're speaking on shit that's right in front of you, and it sounds crazy, people will call you crazy. It's like, dude, you don't think crazy people are the ones committing these fucking crimes? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It takes it, crazy to find crazy, you know? Yeah, it does. Um, hang on a second, uh, Levitt. I see you there. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, because I, I want to talk. I want to get this. I want to talk to Ryan and give him the opportunity to finally uh, say everything. Because I think you and Ryan and I'm sorry if I'm over speaking here, but you're good, the, bro. It's your channel. Well, thank you. A lot of people don't realize that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> people, man. As a small creator, you get a lot of uh, crazy drama. That you're, I'm sitting here going, look, I'm not a drama channel. I don't do drama. I don't like drama. I, you know, waste of time. Oh, it is, man. It is like we can have different opinions, but it doesn't mean we have to hate each other over it. Oh, amen. Gosh, man, it's like if you have different opinions, that's a good thing. A lot of times, yes, dude. That's how people figure shit out. Yeah, it's called a a, a civil society, and that's yeah. gone. We, we've gone back to uh, I don't know the Stone Age or something here. <laughs> We're in the technology stone age, right? People want to hit, they want to hit things with rocks and they want you to see it their way or no way. Yeah. And then, and then the, the creators that have like a shit ton of like followers and stuff, dude, they're the ones that are like, I don't know. I feel like they just cater to their majority instead of just the same what they feel. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, well, and you know, that's one of the things that's weird. It's like for me, like when I got started, uh, I got, it was, you know, the pandemic stuff's going on and everything. Well, actually my start, it's funny. My, uh, wife gave me a, a microphone and said, stop talking to me. Start talking to the, <laughs> the YouTube. She said, I, I can't take any more of this. <laughs> bro, hey, I'll be, I'll be your buddy, bro. My old lady, same shit. Dude, I love it, man. I love it. That's exactly what happens. Um, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> dude, this is, uh, it, it's so funny, man. For everybody who's coming in, this is so typical, like, uh, two guys from Tennessee that, like, we meet each other. It's like we're in, like, Las Vegas or something. It's like, hey, man, you're from Tennessee? Yeah, man, me too. And this, this will be the conversation. Um, anyway, uh, it was, um, oh, what was I saying about that? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, so, yeah she, said, so she gave me a microphone and said, here, talk to somebody else. Uh, don't talk to me. Well, at that time, the only thing... 
that was happening on a daily basis was Gabby Petito. Mm -hmm. And then I started seeing like some of these people, these really start harassing like the laundry, like his parents and stuff. And I'm sitting there going, you know, they're hurting too. They don't know where their son is. Yeah. I was like, instead, and you know, they're out there yelling at the family and they're camping out in front of their house. I was like, what if that was your neighbor? Bro. Right? I was like, man, that stuff wouldn't work here. Mm -mm. Bro, I could get a weed eater and hit their legs with that shit. (laughs) Right? Back off my fucking lawn. (laughs) Yeah. I'm like, you you guys can't be out here yelling at all hours of the night. Uh, But anyway, so that's what got me into doing it. I started following her and I started doing the facts thing. And it was so funny. So many people just didn't want to hear it or think differently than what the, the popular narrative was. Hey, don't you hate that? Yeah, yeah, dude. It, we, we'll never advance as a society Mm-mm. if if we don't look everywhere. And I think you bring up some great opinions, great things about Kylie, which we will not know anything till uh, with the toxology is going to be a month away. Yep. Right. Uh, the, they confirm it's her, but I, I don't know. What What is your next step? What do you? What? How's your brain? How are those gears turning, man? See, here, here's my thing. Like, I said, a lot of people were jumping on me because they're like, they're like, you think it's all a hoax? I'm like, not all the way. It's like more complex than that. Like, obviously something is up because professionals, AWP, they said something was up and they were actually in the water, you know? Yeah. That so, got me. Yeah. Yeah. And then this other guy today, he was like, well, I think AWP, they should have started over here. Like, I'm like, he's like bullshit and saying, well, they should have started over here. They should have done this. I said, dude, what is your issue? They found the car. And he's like, yeah, but they didn't start over here. I was like, what does it matter? I was like, look at what you're bitching about. They found the car faster than anybody else. What do you want from them? You know, and they dove underwater. They, they see a body on the inside. Uh, obviously, they, you know, think yeah. it's Kylie Rodney. But here's the thing. From them thinking it's Kylie Rodney, mm-hmm. they're saying it's Kylie Rodney, to them going to the surface and talking, they instantly said something was weird. Right? Right. All right? Not to mention, the police sent them away from this place and said, you know, uh, y'all don't need to search this. We already searched it really good, right? All right? When you got the random tow truck guy who don't know how to work on vehicles, it sounds like, or do, <laughs> do a flatbed call, he's the one that's over there. Send them to the wrong area. Then you got this anime chick in a boat riding through there being like, I'm not doing anything. I'm just creating content for my brand new YouTube channel. Yeah. It's like, is any of y'all seeing this shit? Like, what? This is not right. But yeah. And these are the same people that will sit there and they'll say, don't monetize your stream if you're ca- talking about this stuff. And I'm sitting here going, like, I'm that stuff. I'm twice now. <laughs> Do what? I'd be like, I'm going to monetize it twice now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I, I, I've always sat there. I'm like, why are people saying this? Because they want, they're they're projecting is what they're doing. They oh, want, yeah. yeah, they want you to, to give them money and they want to act like, oh, well, no, I'm not going to. So that mm-hmm. way they can act like the, the higher uh, higher person. Um, hang on a second. Uh, people that are jumping in, uh, I'm just doing an interview right now with Ryan until uh, if he says if he wants to talk to anybody, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna let anybody else in. Uh, Ryan, do you think there's a lack of interest in human trafficking? In yeah, oh, hell yeah, that yeah, it, it, it's a problem too, Sully. Mm-hmm. Um, look, look how much could be freaking look at look if, if everybody wouldn't just. Believe what the news says all the time, bro. Maybe we can stop some of this shit, <laughs> right? But yeah, one hundred percent. And you know that's something else is that, and we can't talk about uh, stuff. The media will, will uh, ban your page, you know, or not the media, but you know, uh, uh, big tech will ban you for saying oh. stuff. And again, I applaud you. You have a huge audience, so you you're able to say whatever you want to, and people will find your message on different platforms. There's a, uh, a well, let's see, there was, uh, I saw that 
Gina Carano uh, was taken off of Twitter last night. She's the girl that was on Star Wars. Uh, she's on The Mandalorian. Oh, damn. Why did they take her off? Uh, because she's in a movie about the president's son. About Joe, uh, Joe yeah. Biden? Yes. Yes. They took her off Twitter for that? Yeah. There's a thing. There's a movie that uh, she's in. She plays a Secret Service agent. Uh, and it's about Hunter. Yeah. Oh shit! What what is that movie called? Is I don't it... know. I don't know. I just saw this like last night as I was going to sleep. And when I say going to sleep, I'm talking about like it was like five o'clock this morning, because uh, I was up with um, uh, I was up with my chat man. It, it was sitting in Discord, and we were talking about this uh, the Eliza Fletcher and Sully, who's here, said you need to do this as a live stream, and um, uh, hey. Uh, Cody Galleon wants to give a shout out to you. Um, hey, brother. Do you, do you know Cody? I don't. All right. Well, he wants to say, to say hi real quick. Let me just give it. Yeah. Cody, there's Ryan. What up, Church? Big what fans. Up, want to say hi. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, brother, for sure. Don't want to get in y'all's interview too much. I'll let y'all get right. back and doing y'all's thing. But it's good meeting you, homie. Hey, you too, brother. Have a hey. good day. Thanks, hey. Cody. Thanks, Cody. Oh, I hit I hit that by accident, Cody. I was he was not done saying bye. I've got that prop. I'm, I do everything on a on a MacBook, and everybody makes fun of me because they're like, "You want to get a real computer?" I'm like, "It's a Macintosh. Like it just it Damn. streams." Yeah, what kind of what you, what you want me to get? Fuck, it's an Apple. I know. I mean, they they understand the internet. Uh, thanks, Cody, for stopping by. Uh, I didn't know who you were, and that's what I was like. I'm not letting other people on right now. Because this is, uh, one, I want to thank you, Ryan, for coming in. Oh, no and problem, bro. two, this is really great talking to somebody that is a gear turner, man. I love that term. I'm going to wear that out. Uh, but, yeah, so the, the the Kylie stuff, yeah, they were. you're right. Uh, so many people were doing it for uh, uh, the views. The, mm. the guy that did all the, the drone footage... I guess you saw that, like, other people said, hey, there's her car. It's right there. And then he kind of was started bad-talking uh, Adventures with Purpose. Yeah. And I'm sitting here going, Adventures with Purpose could have watched your drone footage, seen it, you know, and gone in there. I was like, y you just, you missed something. So what? But you don't yeah. get to talk bad about them now. I mean, the, the point was, was getting this car out. Now, when like you, okay, I forgot you were saying that eventually with purpose interview, they come up out of the water and they're like something's weird happened, right? Yeah. And um, hey, Cody, you're welcome, bud. Uh, sorry, I cut you off there, but honestly, my finger, I just it was like that. I accidentally hit it. Um, but uh, uh, oh, is Mountain Girl here? Do you know? Uh, are you Mountain yeah. Girl is a huge <laughs> fan of yours. Mountain Girl. Yeah, she's the one that got me uh, onto you. Yeah, she's um, yeah, she is cool. Uh, she's she's gorgeous, and she like runs like a ma uh, banshee and takes ice baths at night when she gets home. I'm like, you you take an ice bath? She's like, oh yeah. I'm like, that's crazy. You, Mountain girl does all that. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, she's hardcore. And she, listen, I've been going through some uh, uh, stuff, some personal stuff. Uh, and anyway, it's like I got on, I'd listen to her stream, and she just cusses people out sometimes. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. But like when she said, like one time somebody said, uh, uh, what does this have to do with anything? And she says, what does this have to do with anything? This is my fucking playground. <laughs> I'll, I'll say what I want to. And I was like, Mountain Girl, that's awesome. Yes. Yeah, so, Hang on, say here. Yeah, she is here. So, Bro, bring her ass in here, Malgo. You come on. You want to come up? You have to ask permission, man, because she'll say no. <laughs> uh, yeah, she, she's hardcore about it. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, Bro, yeah, tell me why everything in the Kylie Rodney case? Why is there more things? That Thank you, Karen. Oh, sorry. sorry. Now, why is there more things? Why are there more things that say this is all bullshit than, than says, hey, this is all true? Right. And, you know, I saw a lot of that stuff with um, 
with Gabby Petito. And I don't know if you paid any attention to Gabby Petito. Bro, I did, and it's kind of similar. Right? Hey, and, hey, guess what, bro? Go back to – you don't think I'm crazy. Go back to the Casey Anthony thing. When that happened, look how old that baby oh. was. And then do the math, bro. That baby will be 17 right now. It's all in that same age. And, like, the, if you think about it, like, that's really when all the uh, uh, stuff about child trafficking and everything got started being brought out. Yeah. You know, nobody talked about – if you talk to your parents about child trafficking, they they look at you like, what are you talking about? Yeah. You know? This is – it's weird, man, how this thing is. Um, let's see here. Hang on. I'm trying to get Mountain Girl on here, and I can't – I'm not paying attention. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, I, oh I got you. Here, I'll, I'll just wait. I'm just sitting here chilling, bro. I'm probably going to fall asleep. No, hang on. Oh. Hang on. I got her now. She's, uh, uh, she'll be in here in a second. She wants to say, hey, I'm yeah. sorry. But she's got, she got me turned on onto your stuff. Uh, oh, no, I'm not saying I'm going to leave. I'm just saying if I do fall asleep, just kick me out. Dude, man, <laughs> if I fall asleep, I, will somebody just keep on talking, please? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, sleep, yeah. Nobody can yeah. talk like you, expert. That's the problem. <laughs> well, thanks. Well, um, so what do you think about Kylie? Not, yeah, Kylie. What do you think about Kylie being in the back of that SUV? Suspect as hell. That's what gets me, right? I have a CRV, bro. I, I have a, I think it's a 2012, but I got a CRV. And dude, I don't see I don't see nobody getting in that back seat just trying to get out, dude. No, and she was in the in the uh, the far back of it. Hey, Mountain Girl, the links at the uh, pit. Up oh, there, you go. All right, Mountain Girl. Hey, hey. Mountain Girl. <laughs> What's, up, here? What's up, everybody? Oh, just fucking dealing with internet trolls. <laughs> yeah, I had my taste of that today. It's. This has got to a point to where it's like mid fucking crazy. Seriously. And here's what's really crazy is this kind of shit should not happen in missing kid cases. Like you should not see the level of crazy motherfuckers who come out and expert slowly. All of you guys here, like Raylers, you guys know how I roll. I don't have trolls. People mm. are smart and stay the fuck away from me because they know <laughs> I tell it like it is. Mm -hmm. So for these trolls to have the balls that they have lately, I mean, I, and I seen a side of a creator that I have followed hardcore for a long time today, go off of me. I mean, it was uh, like, I, I don't even know like what the fuck's going on in this mm -hmm. community anymore. Wait, what, who went off on you? Oh, oh, I don't want to say it on here, but no, um, yeah, you're good. I'm sure it's like in your chat, like one of the Creek, Check with the Creek Squad, though. So, yeah. And so, and all I did was do a live this morning when I woke up and I had my coffee. Mm -hmm. And I was talking a little bit about Ryan's video. I was talking to people saying, like, you know, hey, you know, I know people are going to say this shit sounds crazy, but <laughs> you have to pay attention to a lot of shit. The images with the teeth. Why the fuck are their teeth overlapped? That does not make sense. They don't. You know? Not a lot of stuff doesn't make sense. An expert, you know me. I critically mm -hmm. think about every freaking thing. My gears are nonstop. Okay. Um, so just to see like how people are reacting, I don't care what anybody says. This shit has turned into the true crime community has been divided like it is fucking politics. That's my oh, yeah. opinion. Literally. Yeah. And um, I mean it's it's crazy. Mountain Girl, that's what I was saying to Ryan, is that, like, I mean, it, people ha have taken this, like, you, I'm glad you said about politics, that that's a good analogy. They've taken every video he's put out as, like, politics, and I'm sitting here going, when I watch him say something, I'm, he, he's, whatever, he, whatever he's doing on a video, he's making people think in a different way, and I think that's a, a positive right. overall. And you and again, you don't have to agree with everybody on everything, and I think right. that it's amazing though okay. how you get in there and you 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 kick the the hornet's nest and you start seeing all the hornets come out. <laughs> yeah, and, and he's 
He's really got. He's really Dude, exposed. Dude, the hornet a lot nest landed in my fucking lap. I'm telling you, the <laughs> hornet nest landed in my fucking lap and had babies. Like that's like how I felt today. <laughs> I, I have never. I don't know. I, I, I can't even talk about it because I'm still so freaked out by the shit. Like, I mean, I, I, oh, I got some nasty threats, like nasty threats. Like, um, just it, I, I can't even believe it. Like, I mean, I sat here today, like, okay, I'm doing away with my channel. I'm never coming back again. That's how bad it was. Like what? Just really weird, weird shit from somebody. Um, oh. and not only that, but this was someone who I, you know, like was a member to and stuff. It was probably like five or six, like really fucked up emails, like oh. enough to where I thought, okay, should I contact the fucking law? Do I need to like take this shit to court or file a fucking order or something? Like, I don't get that shit. It wasn't purple, was it? No. Mm -mm. Okay. I mean, this, this is like, um, it, it's crazy. And here's, here's what I believe in you guys. Used to this kind of shit would scare me off and stuff, you know, but it comes to a point Thanks, where Maggie. it's like, what do you do? Do you let people just like fucking You're run so you nice. off? Or do you have a set of balls and take it by the horns and tell these motherfuckers what is up? I mean, exactly. I'm a different breed bitch around here. But... <laughs> well, and you when, know... people, when people step into my playground and fuck with me, and my subs, like, I take it to heart. <laughs> and a lot of people, they've been throwing hate at me because I've been supporting the hell out of Ryan and Creek Squad. And I can mm -hmm. tell you right now, these Creek Squad people, some of the smartest motherfucking people you will meet. Like, honestly, when you read and listen to their words and their comments and stuff, they are smarter than half of these freaking uneducated freaking felon moron fucking creators who don't even know how to do anything in true crime that think that they're, you know, all high and mighty. Yeah, I can name like all. Uh, hey, if, I, I just want to throw this out there. If you ever feel expert, I'm sorry. I just want to throw this out there. If you ever feel threatened or anything by anybody, bro, just come to my house. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, I almost, I almost put a post up saying, um, Hey, uh, gonna gonna pack up here in a, a short bit of time, but it, it's sad because nobody should have to feel that way. Oh, ever. Yeah. Well, if you ever feel like you're in danger, come to my house because I'll shoot a motherfucker. Kitchen <laughs> 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 tattoos. <laughs> hey, expert, oh, I'll, I'll make the baklava. Uh, we'll go on a travel. It <laughs> sounds go. good. Sounds good. Uh, you always need more ammo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but well, no, Ryan, it's crazy. Good. Really quick. I'm so happy that Ryan got to connect with you because honestly, Ryan, this channel, they are some cool cats. Really yeah. cool. They talk a lot about like law tube and stuff like that. But I mean, this is a really good group of YouTube. It, this isn't the drama, girl. true crime bullshit. Fucking Tony. Like, this is Fuck a different breed. Oh. Hey, um, it's Mountain fun too. It's have you fun too, over uh, here. Have you covered Eliza Fletcher? Yeah, those things. I have you looked into her I case? have been covering. I have. I, man, it's it's really. It, you know, here's the thing, you guys. A lot of you guys know I am a big time runner. Okay, that's my jam. Yeah. Um, but when I, I see her fucking wagoneer. Her Wagoneer mm -hmm. was up on the tow truck, you guys. My heart dropped. You guys know I have a fucking white Wagoneer. And oh, wow. I just, like, it's done something to me. You know, it's made me really stop and think, like, we live in a fucked up world. Like, I don't feel safe to go run. Now that I know that, you know, I've always known, you know, that's not safe. But when you see a case like this and you feel, like, so connected. And then you have these freak fucking creators you know, who show their true colors. Like, I, I mean, I'm on a level of like, wow, this is a fucked up world we live in. It is. Yeah. Um, you got shit now, dude. Oh, yeah. I, um, well, geez, man. I mean, I, let's, you, <laughs> you want to turn the stream into a Tennessee Rangers? stream? I mean, <laughs> we, we carry every day. <laughs> Brother, I mean, I ever. Ever. Oh, hey, you broke up. What'd you say? I said, there's literally a sniper rifle three three feet away from me. 
<laughs> That's oh, awesome. There. That's awesome. Um, it's airsoft. It's airsoft. YouTube oh, doesn't yeah. like those. Those are airsoft. <laughs> Those are uh, 308 Airsoft. 308 Airsoft. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, 338, uh, 308 is, is awesome. Uh, <laughs> I've heard a lot of people want to go to uh, 6.5 uh, Creedmoor now. Ooh. And so I'm like, man, I can't afford 308. <laughs> Those Very things. expensive, dude. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it, man. That whole... Uh, uh, I don't know. That's another conspiracy. That's a, the conspiracy I'll get behind is what happened to all the ammo. Uh, <laughs> it all it all went right away. Uh, hang on, I didn't now now because I'm a fanboy crush on it, you. Can tell I'm more uh, interested <laughs> in your airsoft. Uh, so uh, what is your uh, caliber of carry choice? Do you have one for um, airsoft? I I like you like them all. I like carrying nine millimeter. Okay. Amen. Okay. Oh no, yeah. I just saw I saw you as like a three fifty seven sig type or um I, I I like to have control of the gun and I don't want a bullet that projects too far to where it goes to through too many objects because that's like, right. Uh, if you're shooting in a crap <laughs> you gotta watch for the background. So right there what you're talking about, man, is something that's not talked about anymore and that's not taught. And that was uh uh my cousin who I, I Oh geez, I'm gonna dox myself. Um, I won't talk about him, but anyway, I know people that have uh, in I know several law enforcement and that were big fans of the 40 because it doesn't uh, over penetrate. And mm -hmm. is what they were worried about, like the people behind, and that's constantly what they're talked about. And I'm like, nobody talks about that anymore in all these. Uh, uh, YouTube, the, the, the gun tubers, man, are, are worse than the true crimers. <laughs> Damn, really? I don't know. There's, there's a lot of wild theories out there, but oh, there's some, I, I didn't know there was that side of YouTube. I didn't know there was like gun people on here. Oh yeah, man. Oh, there's a, uh, uh, Mr. Guns and Gear. That's the guy. That's the dude I really like. Oh, wait a minute. The bald guy. He was like a uh, special ops and stuff. Do you know, there's a guy named, uh, that lives in my town. His name is, uh, the hit cop. 45? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he lives in Cheatham County. Dude, man, you're not that... We're neighbors, man. Really? <laughs> Just about, yeah. <laughs> He's like, really? <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. Uh, he goes up there to um, Bud's Gun Store all the time yeah, in Sevierville. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. Bud, do you live in Cheatham County? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, but it's close enough, brother. <laughs> It's going to be Clarksville or fucking Nashville. I, you ain't got to say. No, 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 dude. That's, uh, uh, I'm not in Middle Tennessee. I'm in East Tennessee. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, but, yeah, if you, if you hit Cock, man, because I just know he's always up there at um, uh, Bud's Gun Store. And every time I'm in there, it's like they have a flyer up that says uh, uh, the next uh, time he's going to be in. Oh, bro, you mean the big-ass gun store? Yeah, up there in Sevierville. Dude, I got a thirty thirty from there last summer. Oh no, kidding! Did you see their uh, that Gatling gun they've got when you walk in the door? Oh yeah, yeah. It's like by Colts or whatever. Dude, holy cow! It has been sitting there for a while. Um, yeah, they they're it's the it's a fun store. Mm. See, like this is this is fun tube. My channel will be bring back fun tube, and uh, uh, <laughs> Buds is the fun store. <laughs> The experts channel is the only channel that I can be like fucking calm and not get my blood like <laughs> going after listening to some of these people. I'm oh. I'm telling you, they're they're good folks here. Yeah, we have a blast over here. Um, Expert, did you go to Rod Run? No, bro. I Rod Run is like fucking Mardi Gras now, dude. Really, dude. Oh my god, man. So you you've been there before, right? No, I haven't, man. So usually they got like it usually it's a bunch of older folks. I like hanging around older people. I've been hanging around older people my whole life, dude, man. Of course, of course, because you're gonna learn everything from them. Yeah, oh, man. And uh, I we used to go to Rod Run down there and look look for cars and shit, bro. There is. Wait, well, are you talking about the one in Sevierville? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, dude, you can't even move during that time, dude. I was there last summer, bro, and there's. We're riding down the road, and bro, there ain't nothing but freaking 
naked girls and shit hanging out the no back. No way. I was like, what the hell is going on? It's a family thing. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, dude, like, that doesn't sound like severable much to me. You know, that's not the, I, I mean, I haven't been I mean, in, a, I haven't a been in a while. I was just like, dude, this is a ride ride. What the hell? Jeez, that's crazy, man. Uh, you know what gets me is all those moonshine distilleries they have up there now. Oh, my God. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there going, it's not moonshine if you're paying taxes on it. <laughs> right? It's Capri Suns. Yeah. Yeah, man. People don't get it, dude. They don't get it. But, man, I'll tell you what. All those uh, uh, people that come in from out of town, they get it. <laughs> you oh. know? It's all the aver- uh, all the um, uh, vacationers. Mm-hmm. But, get some tickets up, boy. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But yeah, man, Rod Run. Yeah, I'm sorry. When you were talking about it, I wasn't thinking about unsevereable, man. That's that's a hoot, man. I love uh uh I love all those old cars. You ever drive by it's like a, a Sonic drive in or like a, well, I don't know, some drive in is on a Friday night in a small town in the south and you see like all these classic cars sitting out there. Dude, I, I, town. I love that, man. Me too. Dude, it's, it's so cool. I took my wife to one up in uh, uh, Bristol, uh, Tennessee. Oh, nice. Yeah, man. It, right, it was right across the part, or right across the state lines from the Country Music Hall of Fame, or not Hall of Fame, but it was a museum. Yeah. Country Music Museum. And she was like, I was like, oh my gosh, they have a 1960s. I was like, this is it, the 1967 Stingray. Look, it's all original. It's all. Oh. And she's like, I turn around, I look at her, like, is this not the most beautiful car? She's like, yeah. Does it have heated seats? Oh shit! I'm like, <laughs> like I'm out of shit. Oh no! I was like, no man, the '67 Stingray. I just, I love that body style. I think that's such a that's the, the peak of American style. Yes. I, sorry. I'm sorry. Did you see White Rabbit said that um, Twitter is saying authorities have entrances to MLK Park closed now in Southwest Memphis? Oh. I did see that they do have like quads that have showed up and they did block it off probably like roughly about 32 minutes ago, I think. Oh, let's see. What's yeah. y'all's Instagram? I'm going to follow y'all. Do what? So what's y'all's Instagram? Yeah, hang on. You skipped out, man. What did you say, bud? Thank you. I was asking what everybody's Instagram, Instagram. was. Oh, I don't ha- I have an Instagram. <laughs> well, I do have Instagram. I don't know what it is. I actually, so I did start one of those, but I didn't you use did? um, my channel name, but I did send Up Church's channel a message like a week ago, so you'll have to go through the messages. Oh. I don't want to say it on here. I only say it to people awesome. I like. Yeah, I get <laughs> No, I mean, no, I like all of you guys, but you know what I mean. Like, if this video gets out and the psycho fucks get on it, then... Yeah. What What do you mean? It's like all of America's watching. All of the world is watching. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I like a lot of people, but there's some crazy <laughs> motherfuckers out there, man. Uh, yeah, you're right. I, I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find your DM and uh, see if I can uh, find your page. Is it the same profile picture? No, it doesn't have one, but it. I'll give you a hint. It starts uh, Valley. Oh, okay. I can find it. <laughs> you guys were talking about the rod fest thing, so yeah. I just went to Jeep Invasion, and that mm. was freaking cool shit. But there wasn't naked women running around or naked men. Well, there usually isn't for this thing. It's, it's a, uh, especially you gotta realize, uh, Mountain Girl, what I'm talking about, like, uh, Sevier County, Tennessee is very, very, I mean, th- there's this, uh, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to Myrtle Beach. That's how I describe it to people. It's it's this like you know entertainment T-shirt shops and like oh, you know, yeah. putt putt and all that stuff like on their main strip. But you get off there. I mean, these are you'll notice like everything in the town is named Ogle, and that's like the oldest family there. They like owned everything, right? Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's one of those things, and it's like it's still like their county mayor has been the mayor there for like thirty years. Um, what? Yeah, yeah, it, it's very old school. Um, uh, Tennessee small town uh, county, 
but then uh, you know everything there, like all the shopping. They have all the all the outlet malls, all the you know the. Oh yeah, wait, you're talking about before getting into uh, like Pigeon Dollywood. Forge. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah. Have you been to Pigeon Forge? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's okay. right in that same area. It's like a little, it's really, yeah. it really feels like one town. Yeah. Greatest yeah. place on earth. It's, I, I love it. Like, if I could plant my ass, like, right That's in the That's right. You've been dab. in the Smokies. And never leave. Like, I would, I would fucking live in the mountains there. Like, I would. Like, give me a freaking, not even electric. <laughs> not even water. I would, I would live there. But, uh, the, I, uh, got, I have to bounce out of here. My work right, showed up. I gotta go pay them real quick. And um, it's Sunday. My ass forgot to pay them the other day. But uh, I'm gonna get back on later and see what y'all's up to. All right, man. I appreciate right. you, brother. See you, Ryan. Right, y'all take it easy. Yeah, thanks for coming in, man. Have a good day. Oh, no problem. All right, Bye. peace, brother. That was nice. That was awesome. Yeah, you know, I'm so. I happy think we made a match. Connected with you guys. Do what? I think we made a match. Oh, I told him. I saw Brad, my mountain girl. And I wanted Levin to get on here. He was here for a second, and I just started uh, like interviewing Ryan. And I was like, "I'm never. How often do you get that chance?" Right. Uh, He's so, pretty laid back and cool. Very laid back. Very cool. I mean, he and I have obviously very similar, <laughs> except for like the whole like rich and famous thing. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not. That's not true because you are rich in your own way. Yeah, famous. You know? And you're famous. You are. In my own way. Seriously, um, look at your channel now versus when you when, when I first seen your channel. And you have grown, but you've grown in the right way. You have the awesome. right people at your side. You wow, know what I mean? That's really good. Yeah. Here. yeah. And I, honestly. I hope everybody here uh, sure, is sure to sub. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've, man, I, I've given up even fucking looking at numbers or anything. I've had so many people on my ass or like people have said, like, you've blocked me or I've been blocked. And I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck is going Your on. Really has grown to think like that my, crazy. I think that my channel has been hacked, honestly. Like there's oh. some really weird shit, really weird shit that took place with my account. And I've just mm. now started getting it normal. Hmm. Knock on wood. Um, hey, who is Bruce Beeve? He wants to come on the stream real quick. Does anybody know him? I don't know. Bruce? Hey, Bruce. Hey, how's it going? How's everybody hey. doing? I'm hey. uh, doing fine. How are you doing, man? Good. I've been on with Up Church a couple times. I okay. got lucky on another couple of YouTubes talking about uh, Kylie, and I uh, exposed some of the the pictures of her as a child uh -huh. that I found on the Lost Trail Lodge, the, uh -huh. the father, the so-called father. And uh, have you have you all seen those pictures yet? Yeah, I've seen some of that stuff. I'm uh, uh, not going to be talking about uh, Kylie right now, I don't think. Yeah, that's no problem. So, yeah. No problem. But, um, yeah, there's we just have a lot of stuff going on. But I just saw you there real quick. I wanted to say hi to you. And uh, Hey, uh, yeah, you got a great channel, man. I subscribed. Well, thank um, you. I've seen you before on some other uh, cases. Oh, awesome. Uh, great Thanks, content. Man. You got an all of Mountain Girl. You're uh, you're awesome, too. <laughs> I've seen you a lot Thanks. on Summer Wells and yeah. other things. But. Mountain Girl is, uh, is she's amazing. She's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I, I sing her praises. So, well, listen, I man, mean, I, I, I appreciate you jumping on here real quick. I mean, uh, we're going to keep you're our conversation normal. going on. But, man, thanks for subscribing, bud. Hey, no problem, man. I just wanted to get my name out there so uh, yeah, in the future right. maybe I can do some sleuthing and bring it to you. Yeah, no now, problem, that, man. See, now awesome. that I see you, and like I was very, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of. Uh, 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 hey, be skeptical. I yeah. mean, that's the way the world is today. You got to yeah, be. Yeah, especially with know? what Mountain Girl was just saying. I was, I was ready. To, I was like, okay, we're, we're going to stop this. But yeah, yeah, listen, man, it's great meeting you, Bruce, and we'll talk soon. Okay, bud? Hey, no problem. I feel lucky you let me in. Y'all take care. Hey, thanks. Bye-bye.